yo, it's Timo Cruz, man. And uh, I think I'm going to start doing these kind of yearly recap deals, I guess. So basically, it's just going to go through the whole 2018 this time. And I'm going to kind of say, you know, what happened in the beginning of the year, the middle of the year, end of the year, obviously. Whatever. Uh, the reason kind of behind that is because I just feel like it'd be cool to look back on this and be like, oh, I remember that happened that year. Or, you know, also people have uh, asked me questions, you know, about my brothers, you know, um, you know, when they kind of figure out who they are or, you know, if the song's about them or why or what happened, you know, who did what and all that. So I'm going to kind of go over all that because uh, that was like half of the fucking year. And then I'm going to kind of go over the next half of the year where I kind of started doing everything just completely alone and without anybody and you know kind of met some cool people and you know did some pretty cool things so <clears throat> i guess it would start off uh not even in 2018 let's actually go back this is my first one let's go back to like december of 2017 all right so i had these two brothers if you don't know then they're my stepbrothers uh some people wouldn't consider them you know brothers but i consider you know your your family like, if you're blood, you know, you're related, but if you're loyal, then you're family. So, that's why I say they're not my brothers anymore, but they were, and, you know, I would at least take the younger one back, but at the same time, it doesn't seem like he would really want to do that, because I've tried to hit him up, but I'll get into that later, so. The older one is Josh, uh, the younger one is Jacob. Josh is, like, two years older than me, and Jacob's, like, two years younger than me, or maybe only a year younger than me, but school-wise, I think he's, like, two years younger or something like that. So, uh, one or the other, but anyway, so I've known them for a long time, like a long time. I don't even know how long, honestly, uh, at this point, but like I said, December, 2017. So my younger brother, he's in college. It's his first year. Uh, we're going up there, me and my older brother, you know, his, they're actually brothers, you know, so I'm taking him, you know, cause we're both, I'm living in Racine at the time. His older brother's living in. Milwaukee and I go and visit him and I go we go to Oshkosh to visit uh, our other brother you know Jacob the younger one over at Oshkosh because uh, we go to college so we go over there you know we just talk about you know parties or whatever I start talking to the older brother Josh about you know he has like this little kind of business he was trying to get started about uh, kind of like managing and marketing other kind of rappers and he was using uh, my other brother Jacob's uh, computer and then he had his own laptop and then he was using my other brother's, uh, like he had a blue snowball mic, uh, and he had some gaming headphones, you know, and he, people could record there, you know, it wasn't like the greatest, but it was better than nothing. So, <sighs> but, you know, it, it was kind of just like, he, he wanted me to get into like making music and not necessarily like he wanted me to do it, but you know, I've always been writing since I was in like third grade, I would say. Back then, I was mostly drawing, but until, like, sixth grade, I kind of stopped drawing. Uh, I didn't really write as much either, but, you know, I would still draw every once in a while. You know, I still like art class. It was still my favorite kind of thing. But then I just kind of stopped, and it was like, eh, I kind of wish I would have kept doing it, but, uh, you know, I'll probably get back into it someday. So, so you know, he we go, uh, he's, he's got this business, like I said. He kind of wants me to get into making music while I'm already like thinking of not really making music but just kind of like yeah i'd like to put down a song you know i have a lot of stuff written and i've had a lot of stuff written for a while and i would kind of like write poems and shit in uh i guess high school you could say for like uh my girlfriend a couple friends just for fun you know whatever like just messing around um but i was always just really good with you know rhyming all different words and different you know word schemes i was always really good at english even though I didn't like English class, like I hated English class, I just didn't like it. But yeah, I was always just like a natural at it. Like I don't think I've ever gotten less than a B in English. I'm pretty sure. And that's like me doing, you know, reports in like a couple hours as opposed to everybody else in like a week. I could get my shit done like just real quick <laughs> and I would still get like one of the top grades in the class and it would be like wow you guys aren't done with your shit yet like i literally just got mine done in like an hour and they're like dude i've been working like two weeks on this and it's like Psh, really come on it's not that bad so I don't, i've just always been like a natural at it without even trying so now it's like shit now i'm trying i'm you know i feel like this could be my thing but anyway so 
you know, he's got this thing started. I'm like, yeah, I'll drop a song. Let's do this. Let's, you know. So we go out there. Um, at this time of the year, you know, it's December. There's not, like, too many parties going on, at least, like, you know, in Wisconsin. It's fucking cold as hell. Snow. Uh, you know, it's kind of calming down at this time anyways. I'm pretty sure, like, most people are out of college or, you know, aren't really kind of there anymore. I don't know. I've never been to college, but... Or never been, you know, I haven't gone to college, so I, I don't really know exactly. But I know around, like, you know, October, November is where a lot of the shit happens. Um, and then, like, spring break and all that. But so we go there with the intention of kind of, you know, finding a beat because we don't even have a beat yet. So I was like, okay, you know, let's do this. You know, we just start putting on beats, you know, kind of messing around. We don't even really get anything recorded, I don't think. Um, the whole, like, really kind of uh, I think we were there for like two days like the weekend but we didn't really get that much done you know we were just kind of messing around kind of thinking bouncing ideas off each other whatever so that was December right just kind of like the idea is there you know and I've always wanted to record a couple songs I've tried it before in the past you know but it's just I've always been shy and you know never felt like my shit was good enough anyway and what would I do with it even if I did record it like I don't know but would have been really cool if I already uh, started pursuing this earlier, honestly. Um, so then it's, you know, January. So now my other brother, he's, um, I don't know exactly, like, like I said, I'm pretty sure he's out of college or it's like winter break. I don't know, but he's back home. And then come to find out, he ends up taking off like another quarter. And then after that, he takes off like the whole semester for some fucking reason, but anyway like we're going there we're chilling you know he's got his computer there because he has this you know decently built computer and you know all this stuff you know it's cool he built it by himself from as far as i know so you know it's pretty dope it's gonna help me out with my shit but you know it's just kind of <laughs> a lot of shit with them so i was like okay you know let's get this done let's do this you know so he finds this beat it was like an onyx beat um, i was like well i don't want anything with the pre-chorus like with a pre, you know, done chorus in it already. I don't want that. I want to make our own shit. So he's like, okay. So we started going through beats, and I heard one, and I was like, that, that's that's the one. You know, that's the one. Let's do it. So he was like, really? And then I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, that was the beat for Take Your Picture. Uh, if you don't know, I did redo this song, and it is on, like, Spotify and Apple Music and Tidal and Shazam and, you know, Pandora and all that shit. But... We also have another version <laughs> that we put out. That's the very first kind of official, not official, but the very first kind of song that I did that I actually recorded and put out, you know. Uh, and then when I redid it, it was the, uh, I think it was the second official song I put out. I think I ended up putting it out as my second song in November from what I remember, but it might have been the first i'm not even sure either way though i got it done i re i redid it by myself now you know a couple months later going on but at the time i didn't even want to put it out honestly he was just like hey let's put this out and my other brother was like no dude it sounds good it sounds good you know we were showing our girls and you know talked to a couple friends and they were like dude that sounds good that sounds good you know and i was like yeah but it doesn't <laughs> i was like you know the mix is kind of funny it sounds like you know we're really gross and you know the mic was bad and you know all this stuff but you know it, it was what it was you know so we ended up putting it out because he kind of pressured me into it and i was like fuck it whatever we can just remaster it so <laughs> i immediately had the plan that's already remastered that's how you know a song's like not ready if you're already thinking about redoing it before you even drop it like so we drop it uh you know i'm already thinking how do we get on spotify how do we get on this how do we get on that how do we get on this how do we have a better mix? I'm already thinking that it's not even been like three weeks into the year and I'm already getting serious about it, you know? And it's like my other brothers, you know, my younger brother, he had a camera and stuff. So I had this idea, you know, well, why don't we make a music video and remaster the song and put it out together? So people that haven't seen it are like, wow, that sounds really good. And it looks fucking dope. And people that have heard it are like, wow, this sounds better. And it looks fucking dope. Like, you know, they'll come for the video and stay for the music kind of deal. And it was a good idea. You know, it was, it was like something that we were all like, oh, yeah, let's fucking do it. Let's fucking do it. You know, we were like, where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? You know, I was like, okay, well, why don't we go to Chicago? So 
you know, they were like, well, how are we going to do that? We, can, we can't just drive down. I was like, let's take a train. They were like, oh, that's expensive. I was like, no, I've gone there with, you know, uh, my girlfriend and, you know, her dad and stuff for the, I don't know what it is. It's like this market or something that goes on in, um, a certain time in Chicago. Uh, it's like this German kind of thing. I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but, uh, you know, I was like, it's not that expensive. It's like, I, I believe $8 if you go and you know, not like the Amtrak, but if you go to like take the Metro, it's like $8 there and back, or at most it's going to be $8 there and $8 back. So we'll just pack like 20 bucks and we'll be good. You know, and they're like, okay, well, what about food? I was like, dude, we're just we'll pack some fucking peanut butter and jellies and some sandwiches. <laughs> you know, I was like ready to get this. So they're like, okay, you know, okay, okay. So we're thinking about it. It ends up happening. You know, we go to Chicago, uh, you know, granted our other songs already out, you know, people have already heard that. Um, a lot of people didn't like it. A lot of people did like it, but it just kind of depends on, you know, who you're talking to. Basically, if they weren't close to us, they were like, eh, you know, but I knew that was going to happen. And obviously with your first project, that's going to happen basically no matter what. So I do think we put it out too early, but at the same time, there is, you know, too late. So don't wait too late to put out your project, you know, if you're trying to learn from this, but we did put it out too early, in my opinion, even my stuff now, some people would be like, oh, that's too early. But for me, it's like, it doesn't matter. You know, this is now like the best I can really do. So right now it's not too early. Even if I am a little embarrassed of it, it's like, that's how you learn. You know, that's how you really get better. That's, you know, uh, so we go to Chicago, this awesome ass video, dude. I had, um, gotten us into so many fucking places. I got in, uh, we went to like the Polo Mansion you know, we took some pictures and some video shots there and stuff. Um, I got us into this dealership. Um, I don't exactly remember the name of it, but they sold like Maseratis, Lamborghinis, uh, and, uh, Ferraris, Rolls Royces, Bentleys. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's it, but there's like the upstairs, you know, with the Maseratis and shit. And then there was like a VIP area where people like weren't really supposed to go, but I kind of got us like back there, you know? So it was pretty cool. I'm not really going to get into like everything, but, um, you know, we, we went there. It wasn't my idea to go to that place, but it was just kind of places that we saw and was like, Oh yeah, it'd be cool to get some shots with some cars. And then I got us kind of like in that back area and, you know, so it was, it was a pretty cool situation. You know, we got back there. Um, Got some really dope shots of like some classic cars and stuff. I think actually one of these guys, uh, forget his name on YouTube, but he buys like the cheapest car or whatever in the nation. And I think that's the place where he bought the world's cheapest Rolls Royce or something. I'm pretty sure it was the same place. So if you know who I'm talking about, uh, I'm pretty sure that was the same place. If not, I'm sure I have a business card, but I just don't know where. And I also have a new wallet. So uh, I don't even know. So. You know, we go there, um, we were going to go to like some watch places and stuff, but we didn't end up doing all that. We went into uh, a church, which was really dope. Got some pretty cool shots there. Um, went into the mall, obviously, and we got into the Ritz Carlton. You know, I had kind of set us up a little thing there as well. And, um, fuck, my voice just cracked. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I don't want to take all the credit. You know, it's not like I did this all alone, but it was my idea to go to Chicago. And without me, nobody really would have done that. And even if they did, nobody would have known where to go or how to get there. And also, they wouldn't have been able to do these certain things. You know, get in these back areas, stay in this area without getting yelled at because of this or that. You know what I mean? I'm not going to go into why or how, but I'm just saying, like, I don't know. I, w I, I guess what I'm saying is, I was the one who was kind of like serious about this and everybody else was just kind of like, yeah, you know, let's do it. And they seemed cool, but then they kind of like weren't, which is kind of weird. So, so, you know, what had ended up happening is kind of like, we get it done. We get home. Uh, I honestly didn't really sleep the night before besides like maybe three hours. I'm pretty sure. Cause I was just kind of fucking around on my phone. Um, I just couldn't sleep, you know? So, train ride back, we all fucking knocked out, but, you know, we get there, we finally, you know, go home, and actually before we got there too, 
I had to like pay their dad for gas money, so I'm already like low on money. Like at the time, none of us really had money. Uh, it it kind of sucked, but you know, I was like, well, all we need is a ride there. And you know, he was uh, my older brother was like, okay, I'll have my dad drive us because they're living with their dad. And I was like, all right, cool, fine, let's go. So at first, I'm pretty sure like his battery was fucked up. You know, whatever. We're not we're not gonna be late to miss our train. You know, we're still pretty early. And then uh, he ends up getting like low on gas. And we, we, he died at the gas station when he had turned it off to fill it up originally. So he didn't have enough like money. And I was like, well, fuck, you guys are supposed to give him more money. And I mean, I didn't say that, but, you know, the younger brother was supposed to give him like, I think, 10 or 20 bucks. And then the older brother ended up only giving him like five bucks. But it was really from the younger brother because the dad didn't know the whole situation. I don't know, it was really weird. I don't even know. But then I just reached into my wallet. I was like, hey, I need like, the, you know, the rest of my money, but you can take this. And I think I gave him like eight bucks. So they'd only give him like five or something. So he literally <laughs> wouldn't have had even enough gas to get back. He said when he pulled in to get gas after he had dropped us off, he uh, had filled it up and it literally had died like right when he pulled up. So barely made it home. But so after the Chicago, you know, we take the, the, the videos some pictures, you know, this and that, the other some like really cool shots, you know, like first coming into LA, we had some shots. We had, uh, or, uh, not LA, uh, Chicago. <laughs> I'm already thinking about LA, but yeah, we, we got some really cool shots. You know, we, we went into all these different places, had a couple of good scenes. You know, I can't take credit for everything, but you know, I did get us into these places and you know, this and that. So I'm not going to say I did everything, but I'm going to say, you know, I was kind of the brain of the situation. Um, on top of that, I was the one who was really working towards it. And uh, I'll get into that. But, you know, we had this cool, like, transaction under the bridge, and it was still icy and shit out, and it, it just looked super dope. Like, it was really good. You know, I, I got to give props to, to my brother for that. He did pretty decent. Now, if he was shooting, ooh, excuse me, if he was shooting, you know, like, a little kind of short film, I'd say, yeah, it was good. But for the spots where we were kind of, like, uh, recording... Like, I guess, like, a normal vi music video, you know, how someone will come up to the screen and kind of, like, mouth their lyrics and, you know, shit, j you know, that is where he kind of struggled at. Um, but he was more of a photographer than, you know, cinematographer, so I, I guess it kind of makes sense. I don't can't really blame him for that. But after that, we get home, you know, a couple weeks go by. At this point, it's, uh, I think it's, like, early February. So... You know, we finally meet up again and stuff, and we haven't really done anything since. I'm like, okay, when are we going to get this done? You know, is the video done? My brother hadn't even started editing the video from what I remember. Or he had started it, and then that was like it. You know, um, we finally had finished the song because, you know, I couldn't go over there and record. That's the only spot I had to record at. So we, we had redid it. My brother decided not to redo his part because he was, you know starting to get, get the lazy vibe you know my other brother still hadn't finished the video i'm getting the lazy vibe off him too um okay so after that uh, i don't even know honestly so it's february right so for most of february then march april may um june I believe so June up until June five months like later you know February March April May June um, six months into the year it's like I'm still talking to them I'm still trying to hit them up I seen them like once uh, in June I believe and then I was like you know, okay I was working with my grandpa I was making really good money at the time and um, they were kind of doing nothing they hadn't done anything they didn't even message me back so it was like fuck okay I guess you know, Ooh, excuse me. So, you know, it was just really like, what the fuck's going on? You know, I'm putting in my work for actual work and the music and this business, which, you know, I, I guess I didn't go over that, but we had started, you know, a business called, you know, uh, Martinez Mitchell Professional Artistry or MMPA. So, you know, I was the CEO. My younger brother was going to be the CFO, my friend Robert. Um, was going to be the CIO and then my older brother which he isn't maturely older but he's age wise older uh, 
he is like I think uh, it's the, just the VP, you know, just the vice president. So I'm the president, CEO, you know, whatever. So another month goes by. Well, actually, before that, you know what? We had met this one time. Like I said, I was getting my haircut. I was in town because I was getting my haircut at uh, VC Capilli's uh, in Franklin, and they lived over in West Dallas. So it was like pretty close. So I was like, all right, cool. You know, let me stop by. Uh, I think it was at Walmart actually getting like a new tape measure and stuff, but. Um, they had messaged me and I was like, fucking finally, dude. And at first I wasn't even going to answer them, but I was like, fuck it. You know, they haven't done anything like towards me. They just haven't talked to me. So that's pretty shitty, but they haven't like, you know, done anything bad at this point. It's like, okay, whatever. You know, just shrugged it off kind of after like a couple minutes. I was like, yeah, I guess. So, uh, they get me to come over, you know, they're both there. I was like, why is my other brother still there at this point? You know, I knew he took off a quarter, but now it's kind of when I figured out, damn, he took off two quarters, a whole fucking semester of college. I don't even know if he's still in college now, honestly. I have no idea. But, so, I figured that out, and then it was kind of just like, what's going on, you know? And that, that was just my question. I was like, what's going on with the company? You know, I've been doing this, I've been doing this, I've been doing this. We had a meeting also with my friend Robert, and that's kind of when they had stopped talking to us. Both. Um, I forgot to mention that. So we did go, uh, and I'll have like a meeting together one time, you know. So, you know, I have plenty of witnesses on this whole situation um, that, you know, saw the texts and were there even in the company kind of with us and kind of knew the whole situation and everything, so... Um, I'm not making shit up, but, uh, so, you know, uh, basically the younger brother and older brother just kept saying, oh, well, it's nobody's fault that we haven't been talking to each other. It's nobody's fault. You know, let's get back into this. Let's do this. I think we need to do this. And I was like, y'all are fucking delusional. It's literally your fault. Look at your phone. Look at your messages. Look at how many times I've tried to, you know, Snapchat you, send you messages, talk to you on Facebook, everything. And then get shit back. Sometimes you won't even open them literally for five months like nothing so they're like okay let's hang out next week or actually it was the next day so next day comes i'm messaging them they don't message me back i'm like okay next weekend you know because then they end up my other brother ends up hitting me up and he's like oh my, my bad bro let's do it this weekend or whatever so okay after that i said fuck it dude they haven't messaged me back leaving me hanging again it's going on six months you know so, you know, or, uh, well, six months into the year, but, but it's going on six months now to them not, you know, doing shit. So, you know, it's January. We kind of were a little bit, like I said, in February, but not really. So February, March, April, May, June. Now it's July. So in July, um, it's kind of like now I'm not talking to them and they're not talking to me. So it's like, okay, fuck it. I'm doing this on my own, you know? At the end of the month, or at the beginning of next month, somewhere between, I showed them, hey, I built my own studio. Okay, you guys didn't even have a studio. You had, a, like, a closet that you made in, like, you know, five minutes. I, you know, like I said, I was working with my grandpa. You know, I bought tape made. I bought all my own tools. Um, I bought all my own supplies. Uh... I did the research on, you know, what kind of stuff I needed for, you know, soundproofing or at least acoustic treatment and, you know, what the difference is between that. And I had to figure out how to work with the floor and because I was in the basement, you know, so I had to figure out all this stuff. And, you know, while I wasn't recording for those five months where they weren't talking to me, that's what I was doing. So then I was saving up money, learning how to put my music up here, what to do with this, how to do this, how to do that. Uh, this next month, that's all I do. Build my studio, buy the shit for it plan it out right Ooh, get my studio built now i'm um i record i don't know if i started i'm pretty sure i did start recording that same month but i don't think i had my studio built built yet at the time i think i just had it like basic like it was taped to the ceiling and shit like my kind of you know little thing but then at the end of the month, I actually had like the studio built, built, and it was like, you know, pretty fucking nice. You know, I had lights in it and shit. Uh, you can see like uh, on my Instagram, I have like a little video of that I might even uh, post a little video of that uh, sometime just to show like, you know, but yeah, it was pretty cool. 
you know, I had this done. I did it all by myself. You know, I did everything. You know, I did the research. I bought the tools. I bought everything. I was, like, really happy, you know. I bought my own studio equipment. You know, the mic I'm using right now, the pop filter, the mic stand. And this isn't some cheap blue snowball or even a USB mic. This is an XLR mic <laughs> with, you know, like I said, the mic stand, um, the XLR cord, a preamp. Got my own laptop. Um, everything. So, I mean, the headphones I'm using right now are probably worth more than the whole setup they had over there besides, like, the computer. You know, like, literally, these are studio-grade, like, mastering or mixing-mastering headphones. These, these are, you know, some nice fucking shits. Um, you know, I end up getting speakers down the line, end up getting, you know, a two-terabyte hard drive, and I, I end up getting so much stuff. I still have to buy a lot more, but, you know, it's going pretty good. It's a lot better than what basically everybody else has around here from what I've seen. So, you know, I'm, I'm proud of it. You know, I'm like, hey, I'm fucking proud of that. I did this, you know, by myself, for myself. Fuck everybody. So I'm just really having a good time. And I end up, you know, saying, you know what? Let me just show them what's going on. You know, so I, I just sent them, you know, a couple Snapchats. I'm like, man, you guys messed up. Look at what I did, you know, I'm doing all this. And then I showed him, you know, uh, how I found my voice. Because I had originally kind of found my voice at the time. Because, like, all I was doing for that month and the next month was recording. Until I got my voice down. I didn't put any music out. So what I say it is, um, July, I believe. So then August, two. Um, I started finding my voice more. But, hold on, let me see. Right? January, so February, March, April, May, June, July. So it was either, like I said, at the end of July or it would have been at the beginning of August. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Before the end, I ended up sending that, though. Let me back up a second. I went to Summerfest. If I had the ticket, I could see the date, but it was the day that Nelly was there. Um, we had saw POD, Alien Ant Farm. Um, Logic was also there that same day, I believe. So you can look it up. <clears throat> Not exactly sure what day it was. But around that time, you know, Summerfest in Wisconsin, uh, Milwaukee State Fair. So, you know, look it up if you want. And um, we, I end up like getting into it with my girlfriend a little bit. So I end up like walking away from her. We're going to see Nelly. Then we end up like, later like meeting back up. And uh, trying to go back to our spot, and our friends, you know, tr uh, didn't didn't hold our seats, so it was like, okay, fuck it, let's leave. <laughs> so we we end up leaving. We're still kind of like pissed, you know, at each other, you know, fucking couple shit. Uh, outside, I see, you know, these three guys, and um, you know, normally, you know, it's like people selling their CDs. Fuck it, you know, like I'm not gonna buy that shit, right? Nobody does that, so. <laughs> I, I end up uh, buying all this shit. Like, at first, I was walking away. You know, one of these guys was trying to talk to me. His name was Alaric. Uh, my guy, Alaric Velen. Shout out Alaric. So, he was a producer, or is a producer, uh, from Chicago. So, they, they go to, like, different, you know, uh, kind of events and promote their music and stuff. Now, I had just recently, I think this was, like, two weeks after I built my studio. I'm pretty sure. So, I built my studio... I had it uh, up for a couple weeks. Maybe it was even almost a month at the time. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. But, you know, I had built it. And then I had, you know, was like, oh, I'm a rapper now. Fuck. <laughs> let me talk to these guys. So I, I ended up stopping and I was like, hey, you know, let me talk to these guys real quick. You know, I was telling my girl. And then I was like, oh, you know, what's going on? He was like, oh, hey, you know, da 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 da, buy your shit, you know. At first, I was like, nah, you know, but then he was like, oh, I'm a producer. I was like, oh, you're a producer? Yeah, I need, like, a producer, you know, I need, like, you know, some beats and shit. I could use some help. I just started rapping, you know, I built my studio, like, a couple weeks ago, you know. Um, he was like, oh, for real? I was like, yeah, yeah, So there was, like, two other guys there, too. I'm pretty sure it was uh, Steve o Stoner, and uh, I think it was either Steve o Stoner or Trey Bills, and then I think Bullet B, I'm pretty sure. I think it was Stoner and Bullet and then Alaric. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm not exactly sure. But I ended up buying all their shit. Uh, it was definitely Stoner, actually, because I ended up buying uh, Stoner 
Trap 2. I ended up buying a Larg Villains album. And then I think Bullet had the other album, which was uh, Meet the Grinders 2. And that's like the shit. So I just I just refer to them as the Grinders. If you ever hear me say that, that's what I'm talking about. It's like, uh, well, check them out on like Instagram. You know, there, there's a lot of them. But um, I ended up buying all their stuff, I think for like five bucks each or something like that. You know, I only had like 20 bucks on me. <laughs> so uh, I, I was broke, man. It was my first time going to a fair and like paying for myself. And I'd actually gotten it. The funny thing is, is this is a whole bunch of circumstances, you know? If they wouldn't have been making music, they wouldn't have came out that day, they wouldn't have come to that time, they wouldn't have been out there at that time, they would have left early, I would have watched the whole Nelly show and then, you know, missed them. I would have missed out on this opportunity, and the only reason I went that day is because my grandpa had free tickets, and the only reason he gave me those tickets is because I was working for him. So, <laughs> all these things add up, and it's just like, damn. One thing could have changed everything. I decided not to go if you know like it's just so many different things like so this is at the end obviously like I said you know we're out now I buy their albums I go check them out then I'm like damn these you know these are pretty good I go and check them out on their Instagram you know start following everybody you know add them on snap all that uh, Alark also gave me his business card so I start hitting him up he starts you know sending me beats eventually blah 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 a couple weeks later uh, my brother's you know, I show him that shit. I'm like, hey, I found my voice and this and that. And um, older brother doesn't respond for like a week. After I think like a day, my younger brother Jacob responds. And he's like, hey, that's pretty dope. Uh, once again, he's like, I feel like it's nobody's fault that we stopped talking. And in my head, I'm just like, what the fuck, dude? Literally, I'm messaging you guys. I only did message you this last month because you weren't messaging me for five months. So it's been six months and you haven't messaged me. Like, what the fuck? That doesn't even make any sense. So, you know, I'm just like, at this point, I've given up on them. But it's like, if you really want to get back into it, maybe we can do something, right? So he's like, yeah, you know, we were talking for a little bit. I show him a studio. I tell him about how I met these guys. I tell him, you know, how much money. Well, I didn't even go into that, actually. I just told him how much the headphones were. And I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop there because <laughs> the whole setup's too fucking, it, it's a lot. It was a lot. So, you know, I show them like all the jobs I'm doing. I literally have like probably 25 different jobs I have to do daily. And then another like 12 jobs and then other daily things I have to do on the daily as an independent artist, as an independent rapper, you know, like I have to do everything. I build my own websites. I'm building my own studio. I provide my own, you know, everything. Like I do everything by myself right now. So, um, but the only thing I don't do is make my own beats. But, and sometimes mix and master my own shit. But other than that, I literally do everything by myself. Provide my own DAW, you know, literally everything. Um, especially research. I, I do so much of that. So, uh, he ends up being cool. And I'm like, all right, yeah, cool. You know, let's get back into this. Let's, let's start doing it. You know, it's like I'm doing this shit alone. So week goes by he stops messaging me i'm like okay back to this shit right then my older brother messages me he's like man fuck you for saying we fucked up it's your fault you're a fucking mooch and i'm like bro i, I was paying your dad for gas i was telling you guys the plans i'm the one who's been working on this for six months while you guys have literally been sitting on your asses my my younger brother i don't know if he dropped out of school or what still hadn't finished the video you know you wouldn't even record one verse for the new song like I, I was just getting on him and he started saying like personal shit and I was like boy man get the fuck out of here you know I can get personal right the fuck back and like I said dude's way he's probably less mature than my younger brother let alone me you know everybody's always said that like I was the most mature out of them all and he was like the least mature even though he was the oldest it was like weird but um anyway like enough shade and all that is it just honestly like that's just what fucking happened so, uh, he kind of like took it personal for some reason. So then he got personal with me. I got personal back and I said, you know what? You guys can either apologize or I've been doing this alone for six months now. You can get the fuck out of my company and you can take the L and move on with your life. So either message me back saying sorry or don't message me back at all. And it's done. I waited a week and I didn't get shit back. So you know what that tells me? 
fuck me, right? So I guess it's fuck you. I kicked him out of the company, started deleting every possible thing I could. So basically, like, it was just, you know, my company now. Even my other friend, you know, he he wasn't doing anything, but it's not because he didn't want to. It's because he couldn't because they didn't know what they were going to do, and we didn't know what they were going to do. And I was the only one who had a studio and could do anything. So, you know, and I'm pretty sure at this point my friend had moved and got his own place. So it, it was kind of hard to even see him, but it wasn't, like, his fault, you know. So Robert was cool, and my other... You know, my brothers, they, they just, they were being fucking jackasses for no reason, really. You know, I guess people just get mad when you tell them the truth, no matter how close you once were, you know. Uh, and that's one of the biggest things I learned in 2018 is people can turn on you, no matter, you know, how close you think you are or how strong you think your bond is. Uh, just to be careful. People will turn on you, no matter what, apparently. So, you know kind of like damn really but you know it, it's one of those things that you hear and, and you don't believe it until it happens to you and uh even for five months i still i couldn't believe it like i was still trying to message them and then after that i was like all right fuck it and then even after that i was like okay really fuck it you know you're gone out of my company get out of here so i don't really even claim that uh whole thing anymore but it's still my name it's still my idea i'm still the ceo you know and everything of it so i mean i can flip the tides real quick i've already talked to some attorneys and lawyers about getting them to delete my shit and everything and i can press charges anytime if if i really wanted to so uh but i haven't done that just because you know i've passed like man i'm 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 not that big of an asshole you know if they were trying to like make money off my name and shit yeah i definitely would gonna sue them but uh, right, you know, at the point we were at, it's like they're not doing shit in general with their lives, so they're not gonna do anything with my shit to try to fuck me up. Like, you know, and if they did, they could easily lose a lot, a lot. Um, let me get into their dad though. Uh, I think I'd mentioned briefly about that before. So he, uh, I'm not even gonna get into the whole thing, but basically, he was just you know fucked up off some shit. And he ended up, like, I guess, kind of just flipping out out of nowhere. Like, literally, I came over to see, uh, it was St. Patrick's Day, and he's Irish, so that explains it right there, right? Um, <laughs> I had to come over, um, uh, trying to see my older brother, you know, because we hadn't talked in a while. This was, like, you know, uh, during the whole shit, but they weren't really talking to me. So I was like, okay. He told me to come over. So I had come over. Um, this was early on while it was going on, though. I pretty sure at least uh, and ever since this day I, I don't go back and my younger brother doesn't go back because you know that's that's how it's gonna be so um and by younger brother I don't mean Jacob I mean my actual half brother uh Trey he's even younger um and then I have another half brother on my mom's side now Ben so uh, you know my my youngest brother Trey that's what I was talking about not Jacob but so, you know, I go over there to see Josh. He's not there. And I'm like, oh, okay, you know, I'll just, I'll go. You know, like if, if he's not here, I'm not going to just, you know, come in. And that's, you know, kind of weird. And then literally, like, their grandma, their stepmom, their other stepbrother and his girlfriend. And, you know, everybody was like, hey, you know, come in. Come in, come in, come in. You know, I was like, ah, you know, I just feel like a little, you know, like that might be kind of weird. And I don't want to, you know, I don't want to intrude. I don't want to be that guy. They're like, no, nah, it's fine. You know, you can just wait here. It's cool. I was like, all right. So I uh, went and sat down at the table, just charged my phone, trying to message them, you know, whatever. I'm talking to their dad. Uh, Josh had get, he just had got there. He had pulled up and he had come into the house, sat down. He was kind of like, you know, taking his stuff off, just kind of chilling. You know, he just got in. So he had gotten back from his girlfriend, whatever. I was waiting to talk to him uh, and I was still like talking to his dad. And all of a sudden, man, I don't even know what happened. His dad had brought up my cane, I guess. He had said, you know, don't bring that baton over here anymore or something. And I was like, what are you talking about? And he's like, oh, you know what I'm talking about. That like, you know, baton you had outside that you were like flicking around and stuff. And I was like, no, I don't know what you're talking about. He was like, you were out there with Jacob one day and you had like this collapsible cane, you know, don't act stupid. And I was like, yeah, well, for one, don't call me stupid. And for two, I don't know what you're talking about, honestly, unless you're talking about that cane I had. And he was like, oh, it's just a cane? And I was like, yeah, it's literally just a cane. You can ask Jacob. It was just a collapsible cane because I had wanted one. 
you know, for a long time, honestly. I don't know why. I just thought it was one of those things. It's like, yeah, I want one. So I had gotten one. Um, as the other fucked up thing, too, is Jacob was the only one that knew about that besides her dad. And he wasn't there. And he kind of couldn't defend that. And then he still wouldn't defend that probably to his dad this day because they're all fucking scared. And they just won't do shit against him. So. And I can't go back there because I'll end up fucking just doing something that everybody's going to regret. And I've tried to tell my family, too, hey, you know, don't just just don't because my family's fucking crazy. So I I could give him the address in a heartbeat. But I decided, you know, to this day, I'm just I'm just going to let it go. You know, fuck it. But he ends up, you know, long story short, you know, ripping my charger out the wall, throws it at my chest. And at first I'm like, OK, dude, just being he's just playing around. He's just being a little rough. I'm like, you know, just just chill out, you know, dude. I'll, I'm just on my phone here trying to charge it. Like, just calm down. And then he, like, slams his hand on the counter, and he's like, no, you can get out of my house in, like, three seconds or whatever. Don't tell me whatever. And the last thing I had said before he started going off was, you know, he was like, okay, just don't, just make sure you don't bring that around here because the neighbors might get the wrong idea. And I was like, oh, okay. You know, and he was like, yeah, and it's my house, so you can get out. And I was like, yeah, okay. You know, I was laughing. I was looking at my other brother, Josh. I was like, yeah, you know, he's fucking around. Uh, he ends up, like I said, he ripping out my charger, throwing it at my chest. And I'm like, you know, all right, just fucking chill, dude. So he ends up getting close. And he's like, no, you got three seconds. And he starts counting down. He's like, three, two, you better start moving. And I look at my other brother. I'm like, dude, is he fucking serious? Like, am I going to have to whoop this dude's ass in front of his whole fucking family? Like, is that what's going on? And he's like, man, just, just go. Because, you know. He knows me. He he knows I'll, I'll, <laughs> ooh. So I end up just, you know, walking away. You know, I don't end up running. I don't end up saying, sh literally at this point, I don't say anything. I don't make a look. I don't make a fist. I don't do anything. And this guy's pushing me. Oh, you're not out of my house yet. And literally the door is like maybe, I don't know, fucking like 20 feet away from, you know, kind of like the kitchen. You go through everything. I don't know, but. You know, so I'm walking through. He's pushing me, like, into the walls, into the door. And I'm like, dude, let me grab my shoes. Okay. So, I think I had my coat and everything still on. But I was like, man, just chill out. Let me grab my shoes. You know, you're over here rushing me out. I don't even know what the fuck's going on. But I didn't even say all that. All I said was, let me grab my shoes. Just like that. I didn't even... I wasn't like, man, let me grab... I didn't say nothing. I didn't get... You know, I didn't show any, any emotion at all. I just said, man, let me grab my shoes. And he was like, yeah, okay, here he kicks them once into my leg and I was like okay really dude you know I'm just standing there like okay and then he kicks them again into like the door or whatever um I'm like okay whatever I'm not even gonna say anything I'm just gonna go I end up picking up my shoes don't even put them on uh end up trying to open up the first door you know like the the glass or no no uh, not the second door but the you know just the actual door so you know I unlock it and he's like all right get out you're not out I undo the deadbolt, and I'm like, damn, dude, just wait, like, damn. And at this point, still not saying anything. You know, I'm just letting him do whatever. Like, I'm, you know, ooh, boy. <laughs> ooh, just looking back at it. But, you know, just completely, you know, just keeping my whole composure, and everybody in the house is acting scared. Like, that's the thing. The whole family over there is fucking scared of this dude and that's the other thing is like even if i did do something they'd probably be the ones that would tell the cops that i started it but literally i could have fucking just blasted this motherfucker and just been like dude you know well no i, I could probably couldn't have shot him and got away with that but i mean you know literally like putting your hands on me that that's you know not cool but i was just like fuck it i'm just gonna leave not even gonna get into it not even worth it you know usually able to keep my composure through any situation so i'm you know just like this i'm just talking normal and the only thing i said to him after he was yelling was let me get my shoes so and now he's pushing me into the next door and it's you know a glass door and i'm like okay like just for real dude chill because every like single lock that could possibly be locked on this door and this door is possibly locked so i have to unlock every single thing and I'm not fucking scared of the dude like everyone else. You know, I'm not running out the house, you know. So he's probably, that's probably why he's mad. But at the same time, I didn't know why he was mad in the first place. So I had no anger towards him, you know. And I'm getting outside, you know, slamming the door, yelling at the family. Oh, blah, blah, blah. 
I don't even know. The only one that was saying anything was uh, Josh was like, dude, fucking chill. Like, that's all he was saying. He wasn't doing shit. Um, you know, the kids are freaking out. And then uh, my older brother's uh, grandma, which is actually, you know, dude's mom, their dad's mom, ends up being like, you know, what the fuck are you doing, Chad? Fucking calm down. Chad, you fucking bitch. No, but she's <laughs> she's like, calm down. You know, what the fuck's going on? And, you know, he can't even explain himself. He's like, uh, uh. so I'm just like, you know, fuck it. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm not even going to, you know, stick around. I end up literally putting on my shoes and going outside to my car and just waiting there because I didn't know if Josh was going to come out or would. I ended up calling a couple times. I was like, okay. I end up, you know, turning around because there's like a cul-de-sac at the end of the, you know, whatever. I end up turning around, going up the road a little bit. Um, you know, Josh still isn't picking up his phone. So I go and I sit. Um, by like Kmart or no Target or whatever, some up the street. You know, I end up just chilling and being like, "Man, what the fuck just happened?" So you know, Josh ends up finally calling me back and he's like, "Man, I don't know what the fuck happened. Dude's like flipping out. He's on this. He's fucking you know, crazy for no fucking reason." So I don't know. I end up calling, you know, uh, my dad's girlfriend and I'm like, "You know what's going on? Does dude get violent when he's drunk or something?" Because you know this just fucking happened. You know, she would know him probably more than anybody else and she's like no I don't I don't think so I end up calling my other friend Robert and I tell him the whole situation he's like boy I'm gonna come down there right now we're gonna fuck this dude up <laughs> and I was like nah let's let's just chill you know there's no reason to go bring more shit over there you know then my uncle uh Scotty had ended up hearing about it and you know stuff and it was like yeah I, I could I could give you the address and we could all go over there and ride up on dude but you know, there, there's no point to it. He's not going anywhere in his life, and um, you know, that's that. You know, he he's gonna be stuck there. So I could fuck up his life more, but then that's kind of gonna fuck up everybody else's life, and they're all gonna probably end up in jail or you know, whatever. So I'm just keeping everyone else out of trouble, and I'm just trying to you know not get myself into trouble. You know, I'm at this point, I'm only uh, 20 years old. You know, so I'm just trying to you know keep the peace and just be like whatever. You know, you can't really dish out anything that I can't take, you know, and the situation's already over. Let's, you know, not get into it, but whew, I feel, I, ooh, I should have just gave him like a nice, solid, just punch in the neck, you know, it's fuck, but nah, I'm all right. If he ever wants it one day, he can catch me in the ring, so that's how it's going to be, um, but, uh. After that whole situation, like I said, I never went back over there. Um, I don't know if that's why they had gotten weird or what, but this was already, like, they weren't really talking to me that much to begin with, so I don't know if that's, like, what pushed him over, but even so, Josh was freaking out at his dad, and then Jacob knew about the situation more than anyone else, so there should be no reason why. So, that doesn't make sense to me either. There, there really was no reason why they stopped talking to me. Um, so now it's going on, you know, what did I say? It was... August like early August so right man I'm so bad with months so it's January February March April May June July right so it's like August now um and then September October November December right yeah so August uh all I'm doing really is like recording and practicing and you know trying to get graphic designers and shit September same thing I'm just practicing and practicing and practicing literally for like two three months like those two three months right there that's all I was doing and then uh, October comes around and I'm like okay let me put some songs out and instead I'm like well let me just get ready to put songs out and I want to put out one each week in the month of November so that was my idea I end up you know getting these songs done I remake take your picture I make uh chill got jacked i make the picture which is the one i originally found my voice on which is the one where it has logic in the beginning and at the end i'm like personally i think i could always potentially produce positive you perfectly painted picture from only birth you know all that shit so that song a lot of people like that song uh and then the next song uh taking the spot which kind of was a rushed kind of deal <laughs> but uh the other ones weren't as rushed they were kind of the best of my ability at the time um is what it is like i said i'm a little embarrassed but you know you can't wait forever to put your shit out 
because it'll never be perfect anyway. So, yeah, fuck you. Uh, so, I mean, really, that's most of the year already. It's already November. You know, the whole year was basically just music and working. And I was getting, like, three hours of sleep, working a job, and then coming home and working, you know, another 12 hours on my music, plus drive time and, you know, eat time, and just kind of finally getting to just chill out for a little bit, which I was either, when I was chilling out, I was watching videos on music while I was eating, and then I'd go back into recording and writing and picking out beats and shit. So literally all I did was music every single day, besides, like, my little bit of work. Which, to my music, was a little bit of work in comparison to how much I was doing it. So, and then on the weekends, I'd work even sometimes 18 hours. Like, I literally would be in the studio so much. Um, then, after that, uh, I had to kind of move. So, moved in over here with my grandma. <clears throat> Actually, I did that, uh, fuck... I don't know exactly when. I'm pretty sure it was like late November though. We had to get all our shit. So I kind of just got my essential stuff, you know, started packing up my studio and everything. Cause they, they were like, oh, it'll probably take one week. And then it still isn't fixed now. And it's been, uh, it's definitely been like over a month. So I don't know. Maybe it's been longer, dude. Yeah, you know what it has been because my songs were even out while I was still over there. So I think we moved fucking before even like Halloween and shit, actually. Because I was already planning on putting my music out while I was here. But I just had them recorded and done while I was over there besides the last two. So, yeah, it's been like at least probably like two, three months. So, pretty nuts. Pretty, I think it has, like, two and a half months, because I've only been on my job for, like, maybe three months, and it was, like, a little bit after I'd moved there, or had gotten in that job, we had to move, so, they're in a hotel, I'm, I'm, you know, chilling, uh, at a different place, but, you know, now I'm here, kind of have my studio, it's not as good as it was before, you can probably hear, like, you know, the echoing and shit, but it is what it is, I'm gonna work with what I have, you know, um, planning on moving to LA, as you know, if you see my updates, uh, I mean, that's, that's mostly it for the year. You know, in December, I still haven't put out my song yet, but I have put out a birthday freestyle. I have put out a competition song, which I'm going to actually upload to YouTube probably either later or something. Um, I have started making my weekly videos. Um, I'm still writing all the time. Um, not recording it quite as much, but I do have to get the song finished, and it's going to be a pretty big deal. So, Yeah. And kind of plans for 2019 are obviously, you know, save up money, move to L.A., make 200 songs next year, uh, at least put out one a month still, probably put out a little EP uh, in February, hopefully, which I, I'll, I'll probably get that done, especially if I'm making 200 songs. It's like four, four songs a week, so I could definitely do that, um, especially because I already have the idea now. <laughs> I could probably start now. But the next year is going to be pretty big. So it's going to be, you know, January, February, March, April. Then May, like, 20th at the latest is where we're going to move. So five months in, almost six months into next year, we'll be moved to L.A. We'll have our own spot, you know. Um, and then after that, I mean, that's that's really it. It's going to be history. It's going to be like, this is going to be what I look back on, but... You know, most of the thing that happened this year was kind of fucked up with my brothers for half of the year or over half the year, I guess. Uh, and then after that, I started building my own shit, uh, you know, practicing and everything. So this year was kind of a build up. You know, beginning of the year, I thought, man, this is my year. And in a way, I was right. And in a way, I was wrong. It wasn't my year to do something huge. But obviously, you know, that doesn't really happen in a year. But it was my year to kind of find what I wanted to do and build up. So... Now I know that music is what I want to do, specifically rap, although I don't want to limit myself, and it would be cool to do some other shit as well. But, you know, that's what's going on, I guess. This is now my life, and uh, I'm going to take the trip to L.A. and get that hustle on, and from out there, you know, grow at least twice as fast. 
So that's that's the whole that's the whole idea. It's kind of a cliche. You'll move to LA, pursue pursue your career in music or whatever the fuck. But I'm I'm about to grind. Like I said, I get like three four hours of sleep a night. I'm working twelve hours in my shit on top of a job, and I could work you know six hours in my shit and work a job and then a part time and still be fine. You know, I'll, I'll, I can handle LA. I'll do it. I'll do whatever the fuck I gotta do. And after a year of moving to LA, man, I know I'm already gonna have like. You know, I might not be known, but I'm going to have, like, a name for myself. I'm going to have, you know, some good fans next year. I already know. Like, I already know. I don't I can't say when I'll blow up, but I can definitely say that uh, by the end of next year, I'm going to have a good little fan base going on. And then six months after that, you know, by the, you know, after a year of being in L.A., it'll be like, you know, this, this thing's starting to get pretty big. If I haven't blown up, which... Is unlikely, but not impossible. So I feel like this year was kind of the build up. Next year's kind of like more building up and more execution of different things. Always learning the business and uh, just just moving forward and and constantly getting better and better and better. And then maybe 2020 will be like the year, if not earlier, or maybe not. But (laughs) who knows? Really, who fucking knows, man? It's just that I, I've I've gotten compliments from people that have been doing this for six years or even ten years that are like, damn, dude, you're already doing this? I'm, like, just doing this now. Like, I haven't even been really doing this for a year, and I'm already doing more than most people have in their first six years, like I said. Even in my first six months without even putting out any, like, songs. It's it's just been crazy how much I've been like putting into this, and that's what a lot of, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> that's what a lot of people don't understand. You know, it's, this isn't just like a hobby. This is a business. This is my my real like career. I just have to build it up, and that's the hard part. But you know, this is like what I'm doing every single fucking day, in and out. I I live this. I breathe this. I sleep this, and that's not a fucking joke. Um. So, I guess that's pretty much it for the year. Um, like I said, it was kind of just like a build up and kind of recognizing who my true kind of friends were and recognizing what I have to do uh, and how I have to do it. You know, I'm solo. So, let me get it. Let me get it all. <sighs> I'm out. This is it. 2018 recap. Might have been a little rambly. But at least uh, it would be something cool to look back on. You know, people kind of got what they wanted with the whole story and everything. So check me out next year. <laughs> Definitely check out the song, which might be a little bit of uh, an EP, actually. You might get a little EP this month. But there's only going to be one song. But it still could be a little EP because some other shit I might add in there. So look out for that. And uh, let's kick 2019's ass. Yeah.